What's up everybody, it's Morgan. I uh, just wanna come at you with another quick video summarizing some stuff that we got going on today. Uh, lots of things to go over and I just wanted to show you while I'm washing off the vehicle, uh, a couple of things to note. First things first, you'll see the effects of the ceramic coating are in full effect on the vehicle. Um, when I was driving home last night, um, just the resistance of the water on the vehicle or the wind was enough to push this water off, which was really amazing. But I wanna talk about this area in particular and I wanna show you uh, what happens when we have some water go on here. So I'm just gonna kind of simulate rainfall coming down the back of the vehicle. And what you'll notice in this area in particular is how this water is draining off. That is not what I was expecting. I was thinking that this thing would kind of beat off, collect in the center, and then uh, drip down the back. It doesn't seem to be the case at all. It does actually seem to be that this um, does fall down in the underside of the, uh, of the vet. I'm just trying to get it to do it. See how it's doing that? So the water is kind of collecting off to the sides it's going down into the drain area. And what we'll do now is, is we'll just see where it's going. I just wanted to make sure before uh, the timer goes out, if you've ever been to one of these, you know what that timer means. It's the countdown to let you know that you got a minute left to get things done. You got a minute to win it. So i um, just gonna make sure I get all the residual um, stuff off the vehicle. Having it being cer uh, ceramic coated is really gonna help out in making sure that um, I don't have to spend as much time as normal and making sure that I go off uh, and getting all the dirt off. And more importantly, I don't have to scrub the vehicle as hard either. So if you do have a darker vehicle, uh, that's gonna be a very nice benefit as well. Might as well get my money's worth. We've got 23 more seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the little vet logos that I found hidden on the vehicle. So first one I found was right down there. Obviously there's one in the big front one right there. Some more vet logos that I found on the inside. There's one in the infotainment screen, one on your, your, your uh, steering wheel. All these up here are Corvette logos as well. And then in the back section over here, I thought I saw saying, oh, well, I, you know what? It'll come to me down the road and I'll, and I'll shoot that in the video. So let's uh, open up the trunk and see where that water is going. Remember it's on the E. So we're just gonna open it up and wow, there is quite a bit of water that's heading into the engine bay. I still have a little bit of residual soap there that I'm gonna have to scoop up. Um, so lots of things to in learn on this one. Now, I, I don't know how I feel about this whole experience in, in washing the vehicle right now because um, there's an awful lot of water in that area that I'm going to have to work on cleaning up. You'll notice that there's some soap that's accumulated here even though I spent a solid two minutes just rinsing the vehicle off. So um, in terms of housekeeping to this, this vehicle, I think it's going to be a lot more than on the last one. So some interesting things to note. If you guys have any suggestions for me on how to take care of my car, um, making sure that I uh, maintain this area in particular uh, to the fullest extent, please do not hesitate to comment me or, or comment on the videos or email me as um, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing if anyone has any responses to this. Thanks a lot guys and I'll uh, stay tuned for some more. Okay, I've gone to a new location just to dry the vet off. It's a little bit quieter here and I want to put London, Ontario on the map. So in behind me here is Sir Vedrick Banting and in 1920 in this house, he developed the idea for inventing insulin. Being an awesome Canadian, he sold the patent idea to the University of Toronto for one dollar. That is just amazing, amazing piece of Canadian history and if you ever come to London, Ontario, there's the flame of hope. Uh, when the Queen Elizabeth came to visit. So I've got the vet over here. She's just drying off. I made a couple of observations that uh, I want to point out right away that um, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on in the future for, for maintenance. You'll, you'll notice that um, when I did the last video, there was a lot of water that accumulated in this area. And one area in particular that I'm very concerned about is this right in here. Um, these uh, accumulate a lot of water and soapy water in, in those areas and then in this area right here. I didn't do the best job at cleaning it off for a couple of reasons. I wanted to leave some residue uh, behind just so that you could notice where I'm already seeing some issues with this vehicle and I'm not an expert in terms of detailing but um, there's a couple of areas like in here this is a very very important cable this is your magnetic ride control um, and I don't really want to get too uh, aggressive in this area just because the amount of technology that's going through this cable alone um, you'll also notice that your exhaust is right there so when I opened up the um, 
the the compartment you'll you would have heard some hissing that was just because there was water that was literally pouring down from the um the roof into the exhaust manifold area so um not completely sure how i'm going to finalize the observations on this but this is room for where we're going to definitely be doing some more videos now onto the utility um i've been doing it since i first got this vehicle i've been telling you that this is going to be a daily driver and i'm going to throw you some more um fun little scenarios uh, at you right now first things first um i've got some golf clubs in the vehicle so i'm going to start unloading all the things that i fit inside of here um, this is as snug as we could get it. I uh, obviously don't want to wreck this beautiful area up here. I'll see I missed a little bit. A little type A with that kind of stuff. Um, so we've got our golf clubs. We'll take those out right now. So golf clubs are out. And this is my golf clubs like I was going to the golf course. I've got a Gatorade right in there. Um, I've got my car care kit just from the, um, the, uh, the car wash that I just did on the vehicle. Um, over here, I've got a little cooler. Let's just to simulate if I was um, going to, uh, you know, maybe bring some some drinks or something like that with me. I also brought some bags just so that I can put my um, my chamois and uh, my microfiber towels in there. I've got my little swag and some other accessories for the GoPros and stuff over here. Uh, underneath here, I've got a gimbal um, for storing on my camera, uh, and then in the front of the vehicle. Uh, I was very impressed with the storage like I I showed you in a previous vehicle I've almost got it down pat and knowing where it is I kind of line up the headlight here uh, press that little button and there we go it's a very cool little schematic that happens I've got a nice duffel bag in here and then I've also got a carry-on piece whoops uh, that fits perfectly snug inside of here as well so we've got a carry-on piece a nice leather duffel bag that I already used in the C7 quite a bit um, I filled them all up with pillows to try to get them as full as possible. You'll notice that that just fits in there nice and perfect. And then um, my wife is small, so uh, if it does come to a worst case Ontario, um, there was enough space in here to put another duffel bag. Um, this will obviously go back in the, in the trunk area. Uh, but, you know, her feet can fit in there. I'm not going to say that that's making me husband number one. But uh, if there was a scenario that, that asked for an emergency... Uh, we got to be creative you know we can't ask for everything especially if you're going to have this awesome ride to go with and then another nice piece of housekeeping is always 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 get a brand new um hand hand chamois or hand um oh, i'm lost for words right now uh, uh uh sorry a car wash mitt always get a brand new car wash mitt whenever you get a new vehicle uh it's just nice because there's a lot of of stuff that you can get on here if you accidentally use it to clean your rims and stuff like that and maybe i'm a little type a but um, for me, it's always nice to start off fresh with a new vehicle. So let's just summarize what we talked about. Alexander, or, uh, Mr. Fleming was right over here. He's an awesome guy. If you ever come to London, Ontario, come see the Flame of Hope. In the vet, I have a carry-on piece, my leather, leather weekend duffel bag in the front compartment. I still have some leg room for you to have another leather uh, duffel bag. And in the back, I had a full set of men's clubs that was uh, filled up to the brim with, you know, um, towels suntan lotion all that kind of stuff and then i also have my car care kit underneath here so this is a full load of stuff and i hope that it helps you in describing some more utilities about this bag thanks a lot i'm morgan crosby and happy motoring